Welcome to Staying In's Twitch stream. Now, I know we normally do um, magic on Monday, but our hands, hello! Uh, <laughs> but today we are going to be doing Force of Will, um, which is my favorite TCG card game pretty much of all time. And I'm super, super excited. The new set came out last week and boxes have just shipped. We just got them this weekend. Actually, I think I got this, like, this bottom box right before the stream Friday. Like, I think we were pulling it out of the mailbox right before the stream Friday. So I have been waiting in anticipation to open these. I've held off very patiently uh, because I wanted you guys to have uh, this experience with me, so. There has been a lot of anticipation uh, for <laughs> this. She has been very excited to begin and uh, look forward to it. I'm very excited. So uh, Force of Will is um, a trading card game uh, similar to Magic the Gathering. If you have I'm questions, yes, and Bandit is here uh, on the side. So if you guys have any questions while we're going through, please, 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 please ask. Um, I love this game. I would love to see more people get into it. Um, I'd love to see, you know, others give it a shot. So please ask any questions. I would be very happy to answer. I even have like the comprehensive rule book pulled up just in case there is a question you have that I do not know the answer to. This is the comprehensive rules that like the judges study for their tests. So uh, you will, we'll, we will figure it out, right? Yeah, and I'll, I'm here to be like sort of the, I'm gonna ask a lot of questions because I don't know this game very well. Uh, Oak and the Wind has told me a little bit about it. Played around with it some, and I am familiar with you know Magic the Gathering. I normally play here on Mondays, and uh, Force or uh, Hearthstone that I play here on Thursdays. Uh, but this is it's a little bit different, so um, I'll probably be uh, asking a lot of the questions that some people might have on their on their minds as we go into this. Yes, please ask away. So this newest set is called um, Assault into the Demonic World. Um, and... Eh. Gee, I, I got it. Thank you. Um, and the story is, is a little complicated. Um, but basically... Sisters, paladins, dragons going to fight demons. I mean, it's really kind of... You know, magic war, you know, stuff like that, so... Demons, bad things that aren't demons, good. <laughs> yeah. So this, what we have over here, is actually the booster box, like, for that came with the pre-release set. Um, like, if I was going to go to the pre-release and get a box of cards um, and do that event, um, th that's what this is. Uh, they ran out of boxes, so they shipped it to us in a plastic sleeve. I mean, you know, whatever works. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and open uh, the promos first. So, um, and these are in penny sleeves already. Well, a penny sleeve for me already. So, uh, so this is uh, when you guys go to a pre-release event, everyone gets the same J ruler. This is where this might be a little difficult for me. <laughs> uh, focus. Focus. I have like a focus slider, it's just the autofocus. <laughs> it's it's a, a little challenging. Well, there's this guy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and read him. He's called <coughs> uh, the Giant of Will, and he actually starts out on um, this side. So I'm just gonna kind of hold him. It's hard for me to see where there we go where i'm holding it in relation to the camera so i'm gonna do the best i can so this is the side he starts on and then he's got a back side when you do judgment it's called judgment um you flip him over basically he gets he goes from being a stone tablet to like a creature that you can play on your field um he costs four to to judge um so that means you would pay for will in this game um they're they're called will and, uh, so like instead of mana. Yeah, so instead of mana, um, you would, they're called will. It's, it's ex the exact same thing. <laughs> um, so it's a plus four. So, so it says at the beginning of the game, put three limited counters on this card. 
Remove a limited counter from this card, produce, um, and there you can produce a different will type. So there's light, fire, water, wind, or darkness, or the different, the different so elements. Like in this five game. colors of mana, sort of just like magic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and so you get three counters at the beginning of the game that you put on him, and then you can pay one will and remove a counter, and he'll produce a will for you. Which one's the front side? Arcana of Will. Oh, okay, and then the giant of will yep. is the back. And the okay. giant of will is the back, yeah. And so um, you, what what you happens in in forcible games is the J rulers are what give you your mana, um, or your will. So if I wanted a will, I would just tap him. He would give me will. Um, which we can we can do a tutorial if you guys are interested in like the very basic tutorials. We can go over that. But anyway, I'm gonna kind of go a little faster. We got a lot of cards to open. His um, J ruler side says uh one remove a limited counter from this card produce one will of any uh color and he is a 1000 1000 uh, creature so when you j when you j activate a j ruler most j rulers go from being this something that kind of sits on the sideline to a creature they're called resonators in this game that you can attack with and at the bottom they have an attack and defense cost does that make sense I think so. Sorry, I, I, I was I, during some of that trying to get this working. We do have a way to sort of pull up some of the cards for the stream now. And Hi, Mama Deb. Hi, Mama Deb. I'm waving at you. Hi, Mama Deb. Um. Hi. <laughs> uh, we gotta wave upside down. Uh, this, so this is the J Ruler that you get um, when you play a pre-release event, so you can draft. Um, because most J rulers are in a specific color, um, or spe and when you're drafting, you never know what you're gonna get. So it's difficult for them to like, hey, we're gonna give you a J ruler for the red, you know, for fire, and then all you pull is wind resonators, and then you're pretty much like up a creek. <laughs> right. And yeah. And since it dictates what color of will you get, your deck has to be the same colors as your J ruler. Not necessarily. Not necessarily, okay. Um, your J ruler is generally a specific color um, and generally uses will of that color, but you have a separate will deck, which technically you can put any stone in. Okay. Um, it's just whether or not it's useful. Um, so, like, he's a void, which is like kind of like a colorless... Gotcha. Which means you can use anything to pay his cost. That makes sense. So anyway, our other promo that came with this. This is a full art atomic turbulence. It's a chant for one fire. I'm going to go read it really fast before I uh, show it to you guys. So it's quick cast, which means you can play it at any time during the game for one fire will. As an additional cost to play this card, discard X atoms with different names. This card deals 500 damage to target player or J resonator. If X is one or more, it deals 1000 damage instead. If X is two or more, this card deals 1000 damage to each J resonator other than this card's target. And if the target isn't your opponent, this card deals 1000 damage to them. If X is three or more, your opponent cannot play spells until the end of turn. So basically- no, it just keeps going. Yeah, this is a super complicated card. It's one will. Um, is the full art is really pretty though. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Anyway, the more atoms you sacrifice, which there's a, which is kind of like um, I don't know. I'm trying to think like a sheep token, I guess, that you gotcha. can create and and. Yeah, magic had goat tokens for a little while. There you go. Something something like that, like fodder, like in like little tokens you can create. <laughs> so atoms. Would be something that they would they would create. You can um, sacrifice different atoms to do different effects. I put on the screen there. It's not the same art, but it's the same card. Nice. Thank you. May I have a penny sleeve? I don't know where they disappeared. Yes. Sorry, ah, thank you so there. much. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of go through the commons really quick, and then we may stop and talk about the rares. Um, That way, we can kind of go through everything. Yeah. Sounds and 
I'm gonna have my fancy rare cards in the corner. If you guys want to stop and talk about a specific card, there's art that catches your eye, anything like that, please, please stop and ask. Oh. I even came prepared with a little trash can this time. All right, you guys ready? Yeah, let's, get, let's do it. All right. This is going to be difficult because I can't, if they're up here, I can't read them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't understand, like, relative, like, relative how to, like. Uh, do you want to. This might be very difficult for me. <laughs> do you want to read the cards and then hand them to me and I can. Yes, that might be better. Hold them up there. All right, so we have, um, this is an Adam. The type oh, okay. of chant in this in this set. Oh yeah, because the other one did different things, like based on how many atoms you yeah. sacrificed so or something. So this card here, that with the the rare one that we got full art, uses atoms, which you can sacrifice, and so atoms in this game are chants, which is a type of spell. So we got Aegis. Huh? Um, we got Guidance, which isn't like a. Um, Swamp of Sorrows. Ooh, that one sounds spooky. It does oh, sound it looks spooky. spooky. <laughs> it's like a Swamp of Sorrows. Um, I mean, that makes sense that that would be a spooky place, but... A Heart of the Avenger, which is a, a good card. Just a straight-up life gain. Life gain's always good. I like Healy things, so, you know. Um, Hero of Courage. So this is a Resonator. If I should be sorting these in any particular way as I'm placing them down. Oh, I can sort them. <laughs> I like the art on that one. That guy's cool looking. He is pretty cool looking. Yeah, so the art in this game, I, I really enjoy the art in this game. Uh, I'm gonna put duels. We're doing it by color? Yes, please. Thank Ooh. you. Magic yeah. is the same way in that, at least as far as that goes. So this is Schrodinger's Call. I know it's a normal, um, but Schrodinger's Cat is a really cute card from an earlier set. So this is kind of a callback to it. And it's also adorable. Uh, Aww. Oh, he's so cute! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, Look at your face. So adorable! This is the Will in this deck. Um, they are stones. Ooh. So this is a basic wind stone. So like in Magic the Gathering, they have like lands they have like basic lands this yeah. would be a basic this would be the equivalent of a basic land like a basic forest yes okay it's, uh, except for it's wind in this game yeah in magic green is forest and... i don't know why it's wind i think that's a an asian I think it thing is. because i played i played a video game whose name i cannot remember for the life of me off the top of my head right now uh that the wind magic was green that seems like a common thing that's just a token. Yeah, it's got like you. It's got life points on one side. Um, like it's a, like a, it's like a lady lives? token. <laughs> like it's just uh, yeah. And there's some that you can you can flip through, like as you go down, like that's my point. Yeah, that's cool. So our rare for this is called Lightning Passion. It's a chant, which means it's a, like a spell card. It's a magic card. It's two, it costs two, it costs uh, one blue, which one water and one fire. Um, and it says it's a quick cast. So quick cast means you can play it whenever. Um, it says choose one at random. <laughs> Those ones are always fun. This card deals 1000 damage to your opponent. Draw a card. Put this card into its owner's hand as it resolves. Put up to two target non-magic stone, non-J ruler entities your opponent controls on top of their owner's deck in any order. So basically, you pay two, you throw it out, and it does, it either deals 1,000 damage to your opponent, you get to draw a card, or you get to put two of your opponent's um, resonators on the field on the top of their deck. That seems, that seems pretty useful in either way. Yeah, so the, the, the difficult part about this card is, um, oh, can I give it to you? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> is that, um, thank you so much. And this is random. 
Uh, so you do have to like roll a die in order to get that effect. So it depends on what you need it for, I suppose. <laughs> Because, like, if you need to get rid of two of your opponent's resonators and that's not what you rolled, it would yeah. be a little difficult. Do you want this in so, a face leaf? Uh, thank you. And our full art is the Mysteries of Almerius. The Mysteries of Almerius is a, uh, it's just a common. Um, it's one blue, one white. It's another chant, another quick cast chant. So they like to do that in this set. Put target non magic stone card. So basically, put a non-stone card. So remember, stones are like your lands. Some cards can destroy those. Um, so put a non-magic stone card from your graveyard into your hand. So basically, you're returning something from the graveyard to your hands. Then put a knowledge counter on a J ruler you control. So some J rulers use counters, um, which is why you have to, which is, why you have to be careful about what cards you combine with what cards, right? So if you have a J ruler that uses knowledge counters, this is going to be really good. If you don't, it doesn't make sense to use it. Yeah. Right? Um, put a knowledge counter on a J ruler you control. Uh, this has seal 10. Put up to three target non-magic stone cards from your graveyard into your hand instead. So seal 10 means you have to control 10 um, magic stones. So you have to control 10 will. Does it matter what color? Um, in this case, it does not. But sometimes it does. But sometimes it does, yes. Gotcha. It'll say like seal 10 with like a fire. If it wants just fire. So. That makes sense. So if you if you have 10 cards and you, and you play that, that's good. So yeah, so that's kind of a quick overview. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. I don't think so, I'm getting it, but I know I do have a good foundation in like card games. We just have a lot to go through. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I remember doing, I did an unboxing. Some of you remember, may remember I did a uh, Magic the Gathering unboxing on the channel and had to actually do it in two different. Yeah. Well, it's so exciting and there's so many cool things to talk about, you know, and it's like, I know for me, I want to share all the things that I know and I get really excited and I'm like, God, oh, let me tell you all the cool things you can do with this card. Um, and some of you were like, wait, can we go back to step one? Like, I have still, I've never heard of this game before until you started like spewing about it right now. Or, you know, whatever your knowledge is. Maybe some of you have, have come and seen and know. And great. Help. So, anyway, um, let's go to the next pack. Right, so we have the oil demon. This is a, a, a resonator, a common. He's kind of scary looking, isn't he? He's a spooker. He's a... He's a spooker, all right. I don't know where that voice came from. 700, 600. Yeah, he's pretty good. Um, He cost two. It's your first so, red card. my first red? Okay. I got another Aegis. Another one. And another Guidance. And another Swamp of Sorrows. So I might just go ahead and uh, put those... Where they need to be since they are the same thing. Um, I got wow, this is an expensive card. This is Firestorm, costs six. It's a common, it's expensive for a Force of Will card. Um, but it's a, it's another card that plays off the atoms. Um, so that's cool. The I, I, I that think Adam thing seems powerful. Yeah, so your fire resonator, I'm um, uh, your fire J ruler. I, I'm assuming is the one that uses the atoms because all of the atoms I have drawn so far have been red. So, and this Very is red. Cool. So, this one's called Residence of the Demonic World. Oh. Oh, and it has Bane. So here we go. This is fun. Um. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so that's another, that's a good um, one drop black. Um, it's, it's always important to have good one drops. Black has a lot of really fun one drops that you can be kind of sneaky with, um, which I think is, is kind of cool. We have a water magic stone, which I haven't pulled any water cards yet, actually, which is kind of weird. 
It's just a water, it's like a basic water stone. I like the art though. I like the arts for the stones. So um, get that better. It's a little, that one's a little hard because it's got water coming out of it. There we Blue go. And white. It's Look at a you, you are amazing at this. Thanks, it's just jam on the autofocus button <laughs> until it looks okay. We got another life point token. Um, for you guys. 100. Yeah. 100. You get like a token or a life point kind of thing. Our rare is Charlotte, Future of the Sacred Spirit. Um, she is a resonator. She is a 400, 400, and I'm going to read her effects. It's going to take a little bit. Um, Ooh, it's a, uh, it's a, it's, she's a little complicated. So she's a 400, 400. Um, she gains 1,000, 1,000 and Bane as long as there are three or more guidance counters on the card. And whenever one or more guidance counters are put on this card, you have one guidance counter on it, you produce one light will. If you have two guidance counters on it, you draw two cards. Perform the guidance effect if the number of guidance counters on the card was less than X immediately before the guidance counters that triggered this ability were put on this card. Okay, this is a very. This, I'm not going to sit here and explain which is, all this to you. Wait, okay, this is Charlotte. Which one now? I'm trying to put it. Okay, future. There, there are lots of different versions of Charlotte. And yeah. I'm trying to find the right <laughs> one to put on the. Uh... Charlotte is a resonator that comes back a lot. She's one of the, re the recurring heroes. So there's. Um, uh, like heroes in the set that like cycle and they come back. So Alice is one of them, Charlotte, Melfi, um, there's, there's a bunch of them. I'm not going to go in, through and explain all of this card. It's really, really confusing. She costs one. She's a 400, 400. And then if you get her more powerful, like, um, if you do her ability, she gets to be a 1400, 1400 with Bane. Um, is like pretty much destroyed so uh <laughs> cards like that are really handy in in or barrier in, i'm sorry not bane in any sort of games like this because you know it's it costs one to put out but then you can like build it later mm -hmm. on so that it's still useful yeah. late game so absolutely that's why um that's why she's a rare she's really really good you can, very versatile you can play early game play late game um Great, 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 and a uh, white deck that you need. Claire, I'm trying to need a cool attacker okay. for because she's got barriers, so like you know she can't be targeted. Are white All decks right. are white decks pretty defensive? And in... yeah, white decks are pretty defensive, uh, def pretty defensive usually. Um, so like characteristically, your green is a lot of it's very mana heavy. Very, very mana heavy. Lots of spells. Black is a lot of graveyard play. Um, white is very defensive. Red is just like hit them hard and hit them fast. <laughs> Blue plays with items a lot. Blue is the quirky one. They, um, they get weird mechanics. That's the best way for me to explain blue, so. Gotcha. The, it doesn't sound too far off of the uh, sort of color identities for Magic the Gathering. Mm -hmm. So, um, we got a special magic stone, which is kind of cool. This is the magic stone of tides. So if you, um, this is kind of, this would be kind of like a rare land in Magic the Gathering. Um, you tap it, um, like whoop, tap. It produces one water will, just like any other stone. Uh, but when you rest it, you can you can tap it and produce one or you can rest it which is the same motion you just have to declare it that you're resting it rather than tapping it and you can produce um one blue uh, i keep wanting to call it mana i'm so sorry blue will or one um different color one of the other colors so, okay so it's got some versatility yeah um yeah so just uh just a special magic stone Good for, here, uh, art. It's, oh, it's, this is a foil too. It is. It is a foil. every Force of Will pack comes with a full art foil. That's always nice. They just started doing that. I feel like they just started doing that more recently. 
foiling is a little bit hard to see on the camera because everything seems a little shiny <laughs> on the camera. Yeah, and that card is, the background is dark so that the blue in the front can really pop, you know? So looks, the foiling is... I can, say, I can say the foiling looks pretty good in person, even if it doesn't show up great on camera. All right, so we have our one drop fire, our, our one drop fire, the Witch of Quenched Fire. Oh. So she's a uh, just a one four four. Um, she basically uh, prevents damage by other fire, other fire chants. She's a witch. She's a witch. Yeah. Um, we got the magic stone of Adams, which is the the special magic, the special fire magic stone. Um, which if you banish it, draws a card. So it's not Ooh. like. Depends, like it depends again. Depends on what deck you're playing, what mechanics you're using. But that can be. It's one of those handy. things that's useful in the deck that uses it, but otherwise is kind of a dud. Yep. Yeah, I, I see that a lot with uh, commons and magic gathering. This is funny. Um, limbs of the Avenger, which is a green spell. <laughs> Just the limbs. Uh, yes, actually, there's a heart card and a. Yeah. There's, there's the, yeah, there's the heart. We're gonna, we're gonna put him together. Yeah, yeah. It's Exodia time. That's exactly what this card is, basically. <laughs> he's like a giant, it's Amadeus. Oh. He's like a giant titan golem thing. And then he's gonna, he's gonna <laughs> rock, he's gonna rock us. Yeah. Rock us Amadeus. Amadeus. That's yeah. exactly what it is. All right, then. <laughs> um, this is called the Mystery of Gruz Ballesta. This is a, um, black spell just a, a black spell i'm trying i'm trying every other card i'm 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 jesse's letting me attempt to put this in front of the camera so you guys can see the cards there it is there you go oh, there we go yeah this is a good one drop quick cast uh you can banish for one you can banish a resonator banish means to put it in the graveyard um one murder um void is the next one this is a, the black adam card um, it's, it's mean because you can remove all opponents' cards, uh, all opponents' cards from their graveyard, from the game. Ah, so if there's so, a deck that like has any sort of graveyard interaction, that's gonna. Wait, so this is what I mean. Yeah, I just put it there. Sorry, I moved it. You're good. <laughs> oil pond. Does uh, that do with the oil demon? From before? It does. He's actually chilling. Hey, I remembered. He's actually chilling in the pond. In the art. Oh yeah, there he is. Just hanging out. Just hanging. This is an addition card, which means when you play it, it stays on the field until it is destroyed. Well, um, oil ponds are are notoriously hard to get rid of. That's true. I got another windstone. It's the same thing. Time to build a wind deck, I guess. <laughs> Possibly. I do. My very first resonator was a wind resonator. All right, my rare for this is called Brave. Force. This is the green and red atom. It's a quick cast, which means you can play it whenever. Target J Resonator gets plus 600. Uh, plus 600 attack, no, no defense. Swiftness and barrier until the end of turn. Swiftness lets them attack as soon as they're played. Um, and barrier means they can't be, like, they can't be targeted. Um, when this card is discarded by the effect or as a cost of the ability of a card named Violet Atomic Op this There's a J ruler that discards these. <laughs> when is she destroyed target J resonator gains plus 600 swiftness and barrier until the end of turn. So if you discard this for your J ruler's effect, you still get the effect of the atom. Okay. If you have that particular J ruler. Gotcha. So it combos with that, with that particular. Right. But you can okay, also cool. put it in a green red deck and use it. Without without having that, that J ruler. ruler, right? Okay. Yeah. So it, I it's, like options. Yeah. And then we got the full art of Charlotte. So maybe I'll put this one up here real quick. Just like Just some red and yellow fighting force. Yeah. And then we got or the green uh, and red. Sorry. Full art of Charlotte. Uh, isn't, nice. Isn't that cool? I love that card. It's so pretty. It's a, it seems like a really good card. Oh, I have penny sleeves. <laughs> Charlotte has a really interesting story. If you guys are interested in the lore, maybe we'll do a lore dive one day. Um, she's pretty. She's pretty awesome. All 
right, so you guys ready for the next one? Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, right. Sorry, we'll move a, move a little faster again. All right, um, so I've got another one of these water stones. Maybe I, maybe this is the world telling me I need to do a water and wind deck. Yeah, I could just go. do a purely spell deck and everyone will hate me. <laughs> um, permafrost. So this is an addition. This is the blue edition for this game. Um, oh, sorry. Just put it up here. I like, I like the, uh, the art is one of my favorite parts of this game. Do, what I've seen of it. I do love the art in this so game. Like, while you're reading off the next one, I can show the camera the art. I really like this card. This is called Snakefish. Oh goodness. Um, and he's a he's a two. He's a uh, seven hundred seven hundred. And he has quick cast, and he's got one. He does some stuff with some spells. But he's a. Oh, sorry about that. He's a cute little snakefish. 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 Or sparklefish. He looks like a snake. I'm sorry. No, he does look like a snakefish. I like. I looked at the art, and I was like, "Yep, that's snakefish." <laughs> I like sparkle fish better, though. So. <laughs> we got White Garden, which is the white Adam card. It's a, just a life gain. You gain a thousand life. I mean, that's handy, and there are stuff, there's stuff that uses those uh, combos with those atoms. I got another Void. Embrace the Void. Embrace the Void. I kind of like the art on that. On the Void? Yeah. That's pretty neat. Um, I got Fallen Angel of the Paradise. This is a really neat um, blue-black resonator. Um, she plays with additions. Like, you have her in her deck, she does some things with additions. Which are those cards that I tell you, they go out on the field and they stay there. Um, it's more like enchantments and Magic the Gathering, I guess? Yeah. They kind of hang out on the field. They do things, so... It's always good to combo. I put in my, my duel. Oh, she, oh, I didn't see the black one. The, the This one is duel as well. Sorry. Sometimes the different colors up here It can be difficult little, to see. Especially the black one. I miss it with the empty ones are black too. Yeah. It's it's a, it's a, bit, it's a bit of a challenge. I, I apologize. I'm not used to looking for it. The darkness magic stone. Oh. That's pretty metal looking. That's actually an old, uh, these stones are from the old set. They reprinted them for this. I like them. I really hard. like them. So, yeah, I think it's neat. This is a little coin. Remember, so you get, like, a little thing in all the packs. This is, a, this is the green will coin. Um, so basically, if you don't go first, um, you get, like, like in Hearthstone, you get a coin. Okay. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> uh, you get to spend on your turn if you want, and it's the same color as your J ruler. So, all right, cool. So it's it's nice it's nice that they make like tokens for it. Yeah. All right, our rare is oh my goodness, this is very long. Shining Heart, Scorching Hero. He is a fire resonator. He costs two. He's a seven hundred attack, six hundred defense. Um, heroes you control gain. If this card would deal damage, it deals double that much instead, as long as there are three or more Guidance counters on this card. So the heroes in this game we saw with Charlotte work with Guidance counts, guidance counters, um, which you don't really, which we're not going to, I'm not going to go into explaining how all that works, but basically if he's on the field, he makes your other heroes stronger. Um, and Hero is a subset of Resonator. It's kind of like in, in uh, Magic the Gathering, you have like... Mon is, it like, is it like monster and then it's like elf or something like that? Yeah, you have the different creature types. Yeah, so hero is a resonator type. Yeah, like knight or goblin. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, so he's a hero. Charlotte is a hero. So if they were both on the field together, he would power her up. Um, or he, yeah, he would give her the ability that when she attacks, it deals double the damage. That's cool. That, so. I mean, double damage is always good. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited! Is. Sorry. Hold You're fine. I was just saying that's that's our our hero helping out other heroes. Okay, what are we? So our full art is a super rare. 
Oh wow! Um, it's 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 the red one drop atomic turbulence. It's a quick cast. Um, as an additional cost to play this card, discard X atoms with different names. Remember those atoms or those cards we've been drawing? It's a big mechanic in this set. Um, and basically, it does a bunch of different stuff depending on um, what we have. Is this is actually the same promo that we got earlier? These are the same card. Same card, different art. That's cool. I always like getting the the promo and the regular version. Yeah, it's neat to see the different the differences in comparisons. And now we have two of these Atomic Turbulence cards, which is one of the super rares from the set. And we got the full art of it too, not just the promo. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, absolutely. That is very very neat. So you guys, I gotta make make sure all my rares get put in penny sleeves. A little protective. No, absolutely. Protect your rares. Protect the rares! Protect the rares! It's a good lesson for everyone. <laughs> Alright, we've got Everfrost, which is the blue atom card. We've got um, the first layer of the demonic world, which is a black demon world card. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> black edition. Hero of Compassion. So here's another hero card. Um, again, works with all those hero guidance mechanics that we've been talking about. Um, Manifestation of the Sacred Spirit. This is a one drop white, basically like a, like a oh, I'm about to die, quick. <laughs> here's some Here's some shields, like kind of a card. Uh, Got another oil pond. Cool. Um, we've got Excalibur reincarnation. Ooh. Um, which basically you can remove whatever's attacking you from the game. That's I, I always love removal. So it's it's nice and white because white I think a lot of time gets shorted on that in this game. They don't get a lot of they get a lot of shields and they they just expected to take the damage. A lot of times, so it's kind of nice to a see that. A lot of that. shields and healing, not a lot of, yeah. a lot of kill spells. So here's the, our, our light magic stone. I really like the stone arts. <laughs> I gotta show you some of the uh, special stone arts. I think some of those are really cool. To be fair, I really like the mana art in uh, Magic the Gathering as well. The mana so. art is so beautiful. Uh, here is our life point counter. It's uh, just like the 500. It's Joan. Joan! Um, our super rare is a one drop wind chant called Spark of Life. It's a quick cast, destroy target J ruler your con you control and target non-magic stone entity your opponent controls. So the hard part about that, <laughs> so this is a good card, but it destroys your J ruler. So this is kind of a like uh, last resort kind of a card um it's just you're you you don't want your you don't want to sacrifice your j ruler if you don't if you don't have to yeah now if you're if your j ruler does die it just gets deactivated and you can still use it to call stones like the game is not lost um but it does make it more difficult uh so last case worst case scenario and our full art is called is a uh, hero of courage, which did we get a hero? Yeah, of I, I remember. I think I remember seeing this guy's art earlier in the smaller version. Yeah, so we got a full art this way. There you go. Hey, I'm figuring it out. Kind that of. looks like something out of a comic book, right? Isn't he awesome looking? That's really cool. So that was our. Art. Oh, he needs to be in a penny sleeve. He's foil. Yeah. And full art. Foil and full art. Most full arts in this game are foil. Force of Will is very is very generous with their cards. That's that's good though. They're. I mean, oh, sorry. I, I mean, as someone who buys them, <laughs> as someone who buys cards, like I'd, I'd love it if Magic cards were had more foils. They have a acrylic run of some of the J-Rollers from some of the earlier sets. 
the cards are like hard. Like um, uh, I'm trying to. They're hard. They're hard. Like they're hard. They're not like hard. Like flimsy. They're not. Like, they're not like flexible, bendy. No, they're like like acrylic. They're made out of acrylic. Yeah, so like hard. Yeah. Um, atomic fusion. So this is just a red chant. Number seven, anti magic. Not number one through six, anti magic. Nope, it's, it's number seven. That's his name. Oh, that's a, that's not somebody's name. I thought that was gonna be like the name of a spell or something, but that's that, that's a dude. Uh, Gradius, which is the uh, red atom, the red atom. We have uh, the Paradise of Fallen Angels. Oh, that's an interesting. What does that do? Um, it lets you search your deck for a fallen angel card and or a demon card. Um, and you can like. Well, you, just, you put put it in your hand or put it on the field. I have to reread it. Okay, <laughs> I was curious. It looked cool, so I thought I'd ask. And your field. Oh, that seems pretty powerful. Yeah. Sorry. Um, the next one is Atomic Reactor, which lets you look for atoms in your deck. Man, this atom deck is sounding better and better. I know, right? The next one is Surging Lightning, which is a one drop. It just destroys a, destroys a random non-magic stone. Like a basic stone? Or like, what do you mean non-magic stone? Uh, no, magic stones are what they call the stones that produce will. Okay. So anything that's not a, a stone, basically. Oh, I was trying to think of stone that wasn't magic. Oh no, sorry, that's not what a... they call the magic stones. <clears throat> All right, we got our blue rock. We got our um, 500 life point demon guy. Cool. We got another Charlotte. Oh wow! I almost have a full playset of Charlotte. <laughs> Stacking up Charlotte's here. That's kind of crazy. Maybe I'll make a guardian deck, like a guardian hero deck. And our this isn't a isn't our rare, but our foil full art is the Magic Stone of the Kingdom. This is the black special Magic Stone. It produces one black, but it also produces one will of any attribute. But you can only play it to to summon the demonic worlds. Like, ah, so you can you can some you can use any you can create any uh, will. But you can only use it can... for those specific summons. Yeah, I apologize. I'm going all kinds of in the wrong directions. You're good. So, I like the full art on that. That's the darkness stone, magic stone of the kingdom. So yeah, this I really like the full arts. They do a really good job with those. I think so too. I should put this. All right, so that's that's all the pre-release. That set. was the pre-release set, yeah. Or the, do you want to run through the rares real quick? See what you got, or you would, you would you rather wait till the end? I don't have all my rares here. Oh, okay. I don't think I put all my rares. Oh no, because like here's Charlotte. Yeah, because I have like a bunch of copies of her. <laughs> yeah. I can do that though. No, no, that, that's 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 your collection. I'm struggling with this box, man. There we go. Got it. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, and I got the Pulsing Thunder. This is the promo that comes when you buy a box. Um, it actually says on the bottom, S3, buy a box. Oh, that's so, cool. So, like, it doesn't actually have, like, a... Like, that's its set number. Um, but it is a full art chant. Another one of those choose one at randoms kind of a thing. Pulsing thunder. Oh, it's like that uh, that Japanese painting. Yes. The wave. Is yes. That it's called. It is called the wave. But it's got a mermaid in it. It does. Mermaids are cool. That's a very cool. I want to look. I, yeah, I want to see, look I wanna see if we can get show the foiling. It's, it's a challenging to show the foiling. 
Well, there we go. A little bit you can see sort of on the... Because this one has some more white in the background, yeah. You can see the background there is, is foiled out. I like it. Are you ready? Yes. All right, we've got Everfrost, which is that blue atom card. Um, we've got the first layer of the demonic world, which is just a straight up black land edition card. Um, Does it make all your demons better or something? Uh, it gives you life. Like it, like you gain life to the damage that it deals. Oh, nice. I like life drain effects. Those yeah. are always good. Um, Hero of Compassion. It's another More hero. Heroes. Oh yeah, we've, this is this is our I think our second one of these. If you ever played Final Fantasy IX? She reminds me of Freya. I yeah. did not. So I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Manifestation of the speed. I'm getting lots of white. Lots and lots and lots of white. Your Charlotte deck is gonna be very powerful. Then. <laughs> yeah, I think Let's so. Just hope you get a J ruler for it. I know, right? Well, I have the zero from the other set, so. Okay. That's Excalibur. Excalibur. Another Excalibur reincarnated. Or reincarnation. We got another void. The void. The void calls the to void me. The void beckons. <laughs> we got a fire magic stone. Oh, nice. I think this may be the first one we've gotten for the fire I magic know. stones. <laughs> that looks cool. It's neat, like, like it looks like it's radiating from the inside, like the core, you know? And our Black Will card. For the when you start with the coin. Okay, a little <laughs> demon guy again. So our rare is Scorching Mountain Trail. And this black, this is a black red card. It's one black, one red. Um, it's a demonic world, so it's one of those demonic worlds that Black has been playing with. Um, if your opponent would gain life, they lose that much life instead. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it is uh, a really fun card to play. Um, it is really, really, really evil. It sounds like it's, it. Its enter effect is really good. It When you play it, it destroys target resonator with total cost X or less where X is the number of demonic worlds with different names you control. So if you're playing a black deck and you're doing a demonic world deck, this might be, this is going to be a really good card, right? This is going to be a good card for you, so. Oh yeah, especially as, as someone who plays a lot of life gain decks and, and card games, that sounds nasty. So, we just have the regular art. I'm so bad at, like, centering it. I know the camera doesn't like to focus unless it's like dead center. It keeps looking at the, there we go. Hey, okay. nice. That's really cool. And does it have like a, or so it could be like a floating X, like right, like right here, like put yeah, cards I gotta try here. to look at the camera. You guys, <laughs> I don't. I, I started to like say I could show you, but I'd have to take down the camera to show you, and so I don't know how we would show you. But we got the camera sort of like just floating up here. Yeah. We're kind of like, uh, about, uh, here about is. here it seems good. <laughs> yeah. Our full art foil is called the Mysteries of Zero. It's one, one green, one white. Quick cast, destroy target non-magic stone with total cost three or less. Put a knowledge counter on J ruler control. Seal 10, destroy up to five target non-magic stone entities instead. Wow. Yeah. That seems really powerful. That, that goes with that zero J ruler you mentioned before? Yeah, so there is, uh, in the set right before this, zero was one of the J rulers. Um, so it's cool to see that this card could combo with her from the, from the back set, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I, I always like it when they don't try to like ride out the last set entirely. Yeah, I like that too. It is good. Oh my goodness. I, I'm so sorry about the background music, you guys. We're using... YouTube's audio thing, and apparently, like, the music just keeps stopping, <laughs> and we can't hear it, so. Just let us know. Yeah, if you, uh, if you, if you would like more background music, and it's not, it stops playing. Ready? Let's know. Let's do it. Let's crack Let's do it. Pack. All right. We've got Map Maker of the Demonic World. 
Um, which is kind of cool. So he gives all of your demonic worlds barrier. Um, He's like the mosquito guy from uh, <laughs> from Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight. <laughs> yeah, except for definitely not as adorable as the mosquito guy. I mean, I agree with you, Ruby. <laughs> you know, that's all subjective. Lightning rod mermaid. That seems like a bad combination. So Lightning Rod Mermaid actually um, is one of the ones where it, your opponent has to target it if it's able. Which is why it's called Lightning Rod Mermaid. Oh, gotcha. Um, it's one of those. Uh, number four, Anti-Magic. Oh, so now we've had number, we had number seven, Anti-Magic. Yeah, I think these this are spells. Four. You're right. I think you're right. These are spells. I think they're all being cast by a guy named Brad. Brad? That's his name. For some reason, like, in this universe of all these, like, magical anime people, having a guy <laughs> named Brad. Brad. This is very funny to me. It is very funny. Um, Atomic Fairy. So this is good in that Atom deck. It's a flying. It's your good red drop for a fairy deck. Atoms. Are fairies powerful and forcible? They can be if you put them in the right deck, yeah. Um, there was a whole, in an earlier set, a whole fairy deck you could make with all the different colors, and there was a stone called Fairy Stone, um, so that was kind of cool. We've got the Mysteries of Almarius, which we had a full art of that earlier. Oh yeah, I remember this one. I'm gonna get this right one of these days, you guys. I'm, get, I'm getting better. Another Atomic Reactor? Another Darkness Magic Stone. Those look so cool. A This is a spirit token. This is what the token is. This is a beast. Or a, sp Ooh, a spirit. Just like a fire spirit kind yeah. of thing. Token. Our rare is the Mysteries of Zero, which is the rare we got last one. It's not a full art this time. Well, it's good to get two copies or multiple copies of the same rare, especially if you want to run it in a deck. Here you go, Bandit. Oh. Our artful art is uh, uh, is Void, which I know he said he liked the art of, so... Foil? It is a full art foil. Yeah, you can kind of see, like, in those circles. It's really where it shows up the best, but in the circles and, like, the... <clears throat> Excuse me, so, so sorry. Those purple lines. I, I know really they're like so it. cool, yeah. Hold out a penny sleeve for it. Oh, nice. Up. Yeah. Thank you. That was so kind of you. Putting all those there. Thank you. The sleeve right. stack. You ready? Ready. I got permafrost. Maybe, maybe I can. Permafrost is hard. It's <laughs> just ice. It's a picture of ice. We got Sparkle Fish again. A lot of these are going to be repeats, so like once you've seen the art, you know. Yeah, especially on the commons. Yeah. White Garden. That's that white... Uh, garden? Garden. Yeah, <laughs> the white, <laughs> the white Atom. Spell, yeah. Temple of the Dead. This is a new uh, de demonic world, but basically you get to, when you enter, you put a, a Darkness Zombie token. 400-400 four, four, Darkness zombie token on the field. Feels like a Temple of the Dog oh. cover band. <laughs> temple of the Dog cover band, nice. That was a deep cut for anybody who really likes 90s grunge. <laughs> Here's another uh, Residence of the Demonic World. Well, they should go back to the Demonic World. <laughs> we got, I mean, they should. We got a Magic Stone of Knowledge. Um, so this is Ooh. our magic, special magic green. Um, produces one green, one wind will is what they're called. Uh, it's got seal three. Um, so after you have three magic stones out, you can tap this and it will produce one will of any attribute. So that's pretty cool. She's vacationing in not the demonic world? <laughs> okay. I mean, that's fair. We got a light stone. Not as cool as the others, but still cool. Got a will coin. Oh, another green one. We've got two green ones now. 
Our rare is Fallen Angel of Hatred. Ooh. So this is a Fallen Angel. It's one black, one red with flying. If you rest or recover a demonic world you control, target J Resonator gains swiftness until the end of turn. J Resonator just means it can target your res like it targets a Resonator, or if your J Ruler is fighting on the field, it can target that as well. And Resonators like creatures. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. Rest two recovered demonic worlds you control, and this card deals 500 damage to target player or J Resonator. So. Sorry, I'm a little slow on getting the. Uh... Art put up there. I like the demonic world deck. I think that that's a cool thing. Yeah, it, it seems like it would be. Our full art foil is another rare. It is Guardian Dragon of the Kingdom. It's one green will, one um, colorless, I guess. It's a dragon resonator. It's got flying. This card gains plus 200, plus 200 for each magic stone you control. And when you when it enters the field, you put the top card of your magic stone deck into the field rested. Oh, that's nice. Um, so yeah, he he's a 300, 300. Anything helps you pull out mana faster though is, is handy. Especially in a green deck, in a wind deck. Wind deck you use all the mana. And something all about this, bills. I know that this looks like yellow, like a little bit. You want to? Yeah. That's, that's that's green. I don't know. There's something about the color on the camera. Some angles you can kind of see it, no, but like so, weird. it's coming off a little bit yellowish. This one is shiny. Yes, this is a foil. Yeah, I, the love, I like the foiling on the dragons. You can really you can see it a little bit better there. Shiny. Yeah, that is green. I don't know why some of the green comes off as yellow. This one. Uh, oops. This one is green as well. That looks yellow. Yeah, I think. I don't know. That's weird. Is something about the color temperature on the camera or something? Yeah, I'll, I might have to go through and look at that afterwards. But anyway, not a big deal right now. I forgot I could do this. Oh, oh. no. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Can I? Is that better? Just do that. Uh, let's see. I think it's a little. Pixelated. You zoom in a little bit. Oh, hi, table. <laughs> I forgot I had a zoom button right here. We can do go back to zoom it however you want it. I was just saying. You guys, let us know what you think. If you uh, like it better zooming in onto onto it on the table, or if us holding it up to the camera. Yeah, you let us know. Anyway, this is Fish of the Demonic World, which just sounds like my worst nightmare come true. When it enters, it does a thousand damage. Wow. That's a big fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a big scary fish. Pretty, uh, magic Stone of Guidance. Um, this is the special white stone. Um, produces one will, and then it produces will of any attribute but to play heroes. Instead of, like, the demon worlds that the other one had, or Adam's, yeah, yeah. is this one is for heroes. He looks like a shark, not a fishy. Yeah, he does. Kind of, he does look more shark-like. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's hard to tell. They look pretty similar at a glance, I think. Sharks and fishes. My untrained opinion. Your untrained opinion. Uh, all right, so we got uh, the Witch of Quenched Fire. Do you guys like it better like this? Is this easier? She's a witch. She's a witch. I keep doing that. We got uh, fire, that magic stone of Adams. I wonder if it would be better to turn off like the turn the big light down. Would be better. I don't know. Bogus meditation. Oh really? Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. Bogus meditation. Bogus meditation. Yep. That's what's called. Just like. Fake meta. I mean, like, if if it works, then this is uh, another hero card, hero of wind. So it's instead of a, a light one, this is a wind one. Darkness stone. Darkness. Life point, guy. Brad. Hi, Brad. Look what we get. 
Hey, 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 I got a full playset. <laughs> got the playset of Charlotte. <laughs> and our full art is Plains of Raging Winds, which is the green demonic world, um, which as it enters, it allows you to recover um, X magic stones, um, X being the number of demonic worlds that you control. So Let's see if uh, we can oh. help with that light like, I don't think that's helping any. Mm. There. There? That's better. Okay. Let us know how that if that uh, if that helps any or if you want to change it back. As long as you can see, that's okay, so just let us know how, how to help you see best. Yeah. Pack openings are hard. This is kind of better. Yeah, we can go. We can go back to holding it up close. So that's easier. We're pretty flexible. Just uh, gotta get. I gotta get my parts organized, you guys. It's uh, like a thing. We'd like to do more pack openings in the future. Uh, in the future, I think. So, sort of a a learning experience. Yes. All right, we've got Temple of the Dead, which is that black demon card. Fish of the demonic world. Demon fish. Got our light magic stone, magic stone of guidance. We got another Witch of Quenched Fire. We almost have three a, of them now. Yeah. So we almost have a place out of that. Another oil pond. We've got the green atom, uh, eternal wind. That's what it's called. We got a light stone. We've got this uh, super creepy fish token. Oh, that is a creepy fish. And then our rare is improved burning robot. Oh. He's a uh, two uh, two fire will. Um, he's a 300-300. He's got three hundred attack through defense. Uh, he's got swiftness, which means he can attack as soon as he's played. When you when he's enter. Put any number of target atom chants with different names from your graveyard into your hands. Whenever this card attacks, you may reveal any number of atoms with different names from your hands. Put two plus one point spawners on your plus one plus one counters on your card for each one revealed that way. So this is this guy. Ah! That's a creepiest fish. I hate it so much. This guy is cool again. So much hate. He is cool again. <clears throat> All right, and we've got a super rare. Um, <laughs> hey, nice. <laughs> this is the Witch of the Fallen Kingdom. She is a one-drop black resonator for 400-400. Um, she's a quick cast, and she uh, prevents your opponent from searching their deck. Ooh, that's pretty handy. So um, as long as she is on the field, your opponent cannot search their deck and when she enters you can reveal a, a witch you control from outside the game and put it into the field so she's good late game and early game um so there we go and we got the uh, full art of her I feel like some of these card arts are gonna get us put on like a yeah, special category on I know. Twitch I'm sorry you guys this is, I, some of the art is uh really gorgeous and then some of the art they really just play up for the fans, I think. <laughs> you know. <laughs> we'll leave, I'll leave that over here while I uh, open the next pack. I just put it in the sleeve, so there's going to be a touching layer. Sorry about that. Just until we... Was there... Where was the Jaws theme music? You know, I think... Accurate. All right, we've got Magic Stone of Tides. We've got three of these now. Good. Your deck needs like a whole bunch. Another Permafrost. Fur. Another Sparkle Fish. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. <laughs> Funky yeah, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Another White Garden, which is that Adam, the White Adam. 
eyes of the Avenger. So this is kind of cool. So now we've got, we're building Amadeus. So now we've got another piece of Amadeus. It's pronounced Exodius. Exodius. <laughs> Starving Beast, which is a green resonator. Blue Waterstone. Water Rock. Water Rock. Life Point Counter. Excalibur Revolution is my super rare. Oh. Here. Um, it's difficult for me to read. That's why I keep I'm not putting them down right away because I'm blind as a bat. Destroy X target non magic stone entities your opponent controls. Or put a guidance counter on X target entities you control. Draw X cards. So the X part of this comes from it costs two white will to play, but you could also pay X. So you can pay as much as you want that X cost. As long as you pay these two and an extra one. So you have to uh, do yeah. at least three. Um, so that's my super. I'm moving that fish. It's terrifying me. <laughs> and then we have our full art is Wind. Oh, I'll leave that up there. Wind of the Demonic World. Um, quick cast, you may pay one less black to play this card for each demonic world you control. Um, remove target resonator from the game. Draw a card. This is three. So if you have... Oh, the guy from the other thing. Yeah, he is the little, like, Ill imp thing. That's, uh, yep, that's him. He's a little imp token, so... Look at there, looking all impy. He's pretty impy. He's pretty impy. He's got pretty, like, like, look at those shoes. You see his shoes? Like, look at, like, look at those shoes there. Those are, uh, those are, those are quite a pair of heels. Right? He's rocking the mount. He's rocking it. I mean, good, good on him. I can't, I tried walking in heels once and, uh. To be fair. I don't know how much walking he's doing. He has wings. Yeah, I, like I guess if I had that's wings, true. I'd fly a lot of places. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, we've got another magic stone of atoms, which is our next uh, fire. So it was like a fire card, fire resin uh, stone. We got our limbs, another limbs of the Avenger. Oh, we got two of the four now. Yeah. The Mysteries of Gruz Ballesta, which is just a darkness chant. We've got a new hero. We've got the Hero of Might. Oh, we got a lot of, we got a lot of heroes. Yeah, I've got a ton of white cards. Um, we may be making a hero deck. Five to six inches, you think? I'd say at least five to six inches. Firestorm. This, On those heels. Is, this is an expensive fire chant. It allows you to find more atoms. By expensive, she means it costs a lot of will to play in the game, not like oh, it's, yeah. a, it's a valuable card. Sorry. I'm sorry I should have specified that. Thank you for understanding my brain. Look, more darkness stones! Hey! <laughs> we got a mermaid life points. Yeah. Our rare... Oh, we our rare and our super rare are the same card. Oh, our wow. rare and our full art are the same card, so I'm gonna put this one down so you can see the full art, and I'm gonna read it. So our our rare is Fish Drive. It's a chant for one blue will. Choose one at random. Put a 600-600 water fish resonator token into the field. Or put two 300-300 water fish resonator tokens into the field. Or put six 100-100 water fish resonator tokens into the field. I had a druid spell like this. Where it was yeah, like you could like put do one big creature, two like medium creatures, then like six tiny ants or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I use those centipedes. They came in handy. <laughs> so that is our um our that is literally we pulled I pulled this and this was underneath it. So <laughs> in literally the same back to back. The same card. I thought that was kind of funny. I'm gonna put this one in a sleeve and open the next pack. So a lot of times when the new sets come out, they kind of have the cards all kind of based around a thing. I would really like to see the blue, 
the new blue res like J ruler. Yeah, we haven't pull pulled a J ruler yet. We have not pulled a J ruler yet. Hopefully, we will pull one. <laughs> Fishes and Fish witches. Man. That's right. All right, we got lightning rod mermaid. A fish witch. I mean, pretty much. Number four. Anti magic. We've only pulled four and seven. I don't know where the other numbers are. Well, all told, that's eleven anti magic. So <laughs> that's it's true. Um, another atomic fairy. We have we have the mysteries of Mooj Dart, which um, this is Mooj Dart was a J ruler from an old set. She's one of the six sages. Um, it seems like we've gotten a couple of those mystery cards. It seems like there may be some for each for some of the old yeah for the sages. Rulers. Well, the last set was called like the six sages, and the six sages were J rulers from another set, and then they were J rulers again. They're really important to the lore. Um, anyway, Hero of Water. So we got a new a new hero card. We got Bogus Meditation. We got another Firestone. We got another Life Point Counter. Some cool mermaid. Her sleeves are so cool. They're so neat. Um, our rare is Bloodlord. So here you go. Here's the most emo card. Bloodlord. Bloodlord. He's a uh, two darkness will. He's a 700, 700. He's got flying and drain. So drain does exactly what you think it does. Whatever damage it deals to you, you gain that back like a vampire. Um. Enter. Fun. You may rest X recovered demonic world additions you control. If you do, draw X cards, lose X life, and put a 1-1 one, one counter, a 100-100 counter on this card for each card drawn this way. Nice. So, there he is. That seems handy. He's, uh, definitely brooding. Yes, <laughs> I <mean>, yeah. <laughs> and our full art is absorbing knowledge. It's a one will, uh, one wind will chance. Destroy target J ruler you control. Draw two cards. So the green looks like a lot of the spells they do end up destroying your J ruler. So I'm interested to see how that plays with the green J ruler, which I'm assuming is Brad. I don't actually know much about this set. I don't know. I guess we'll have to keep open packs, see if we pull, pull. <laughs> Pull a Brad! Pull a Brad! Sorry, I'm having trouble getting this into Penny Sleeve. I'm trying. There we go, got it. <laughs> Fishes and witches! And if we do not have to go through all these packs today, uh, like I said, we can always do more later. But, ooh! Giants of the Sacred Spirit! So, this is like a big end game kind of creature. He's got 2,000 attack and 2,000 defense. Like you're playing him near the end of the game. Yeah. And demons, oh my! We got a giant. Uh, we've got this guy again. All sorts of craziness. Map maker guy. Another very another very friendly looking guy. Yep. We got our lightning mermaid. It still seems like such a bad idea. I know, right? Another number four. Eternal wind. Void. If you guys don't Ooh. want to see, like, repeats, I can always just, like, so the windstone. Not do that, just show the new ones. Though I do want to show you this because it's adorable. Aw, a little chibi. Look at that little doll! That's so cute! Sorry. Our rare for this is Brave Force, which is one we've already seen. Um, it's the green and red Adam card. And our full art is a full art of that lightning passion, which we actually Ooh. pulled earlier as the promo card. Um, but this is just a different art. You get to see the the cool mermaid and the dolphin. Let's say it's got the, a dolphin in the back. It's I think it's pretty awesome. She's pretty neat. So she's uh I would I would uh I want to put some decks together so I can I can like you know, oh yeah do some playing that would be super fun. All right, got the mysteries of Mooj Dart. 
I may just put them on top of each other for right now. Yeah, we can do that, like, for each pack. Call from the Depths. This is a blue... Another creepy fish thing. Everfrost. I like that one, too. It's Yeah, they're... They're really nice. Sorry, I'm the first layer of the demon world. Another surging lightning. Uh, another Schrodinger's call. Yo, the key. I know. Another wind magic stone. Some more life points. Our rare is Dark Lord. He's a two uh, will. Uh, Dark will. Demon with flying in Bane um, for 7-7. Seven, seven. So we got Blood Lord and Dark Lord. That's right. We got all the brooding words. It's I'm trying to pull up the picture for Dark Lord, and it's difficult because Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> has like 20 different cards called Dark Lord something. Of course it does. It's Yu-Gi-Oh. No offense to anyone who plays Yu-Gi-Oh. I've played Yu-Gi-Oh. It's great, but I just think that's funny. I think it's funny. And our full art is the Fallen Angel of Hatred. No. Oh. So. like the art on that. Oops. Yeah, I should move the box over. Smart. Do some, Do some shifting. Oop. Oop. How's that? Hey, look at that. Nice. All right. That, was, that seemed like a pretty good pack. That was a pretty good pack. These packs are pretty good. I had spread pretty decent pulls. I like the foiling on this, and I really need to figure out how to make them show up a little bit better. Make the foils show up better on camera. You ready for the next pack? Let's do it. All right. We've got Hero of Compassion. Manifestation of the Sacred Spirit. Look, I think we got another those. magic set of sides. <laughs> got a play set of those now. Nice. Also, I think I have a play set of Permafrost. So, yeah, like a good blue white deck Eternal going. Wednesday. I know, right? Hero of Courage. Fire Magic Stone. I got the Dolphin Life Points. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, you want to see something funny? I do. I do want to see something funny. This is the next card. Hey! <laughs> What's up, Dolphin Friend? It's literally the same art. I just thought that was funny. Like, that's the second time that's happened in this. Uh, so this is the rare. Uh, it's another... It's Pulsing Thunder. It's a white uh, blue version instead of the uh, red blue one. Gotcha. And then our full art is the Hero of Wind. Oh, we got another one. Yeah. Just two of those we have now. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. 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 By the way, this lady here is this is Pandora. Um Pandora was a was a yep, that, this, that's, this, her box. that's her box. And there is two Pandora, so you had Pandora of Hope and Pandora of Despair. And uh they had it was a double sided card, but it wasn't a J ruler. You could play light one side and dark the other. Oh that's cool. For Pandora of Hope and Pandora of Light. Um Alright, so we got Atomic Fairy. Another Mysteries of Moojdart. Another one of these Call from the Depths, which is like, like I don't want to know what that is. I really don't. Isn't that like horrifying? What is that? It's like an evil sea cucumber. Everybody at home run. Run now. Run now before it eats you. <laughs> it is it is weird looking definitely i don't know uh what it, it does it does most resemble an evil sea cucumber it really yes it does that's what it looks like we got another everfrost another oil pond another excalibur reincarnation fire magic stone here's the uh zombie token oh that's cool uh, our super rare is dark Prominence. Um, this is the black red atom card. It's destroyed target J resonator your opponent controls. Um, that's it. It's just a two 
Hey, that's two. good for two for <laughs> two will though. Yeah, it's also quick cast, so you can play oh, wow. it whenever. Um, yeah, but it allows you to destroy target resonator. And then we have our our full art is the green one, the green atom, which just allows you to recover a, a uh, stone, a magic stone you control. Gotcha, cool. Yeah, that does seem handy. Yeah, all of the atoms are handy in their own their own way. Especially you know. since there are, aren't there things that combo off of the yes atoms. Very much so. Oh man, I got another evil sea cucumber. Oh. Evil sea cucumber. Everfrost. It's the first layer of the demonic. I know a lot of again these are repeats. Another hero of compassion. Firestorm. Hero of winds. Got our our water stone. I got another horrifying fish. Oh, hate, wow. Hate, hate fish monsters. <laughs> I like that one. That one's nice. We got a super rare and oh my goodness, it's going to take me a minute to read through all of this text. What's the name? So it's called the Thunder Empress's Strike. Um, and the card art is super cool. Um, so it's two water. Um, will, it is a chant with quick cast choose one at random so it's got one two three four five, six. it's got six different effects that you can that can be chosen from at random so you just roll a die when it comes in um i don't know if you want me to read all of them basically you can search your deck for a water chant with two cost two remove from the game and then play it from its play area without paying its cost you can search your, you can do the same thing for the chant with the resonator. It deals 800 damage for each card in your hands. Return all resonators with total cost two or less to their owner's hands. Draw two cards or put this card into its owner's hand as it resolves. So it does a lot of things. Uh, yeah, choose one at random. <laughs> Oh, did you, did you like, are you trying to, it's, it's a ridiculous amount of text. It's, it's so crazy. That's, that's the text from that that's, card. That's great. That's really cool that you pulled up like that. Like that you did that. That's really neat. I need that for every single card video I do. It would take too long. Uh, At some point people are like, just look up the card. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, all, that's kind of what I was trying to do with the uh, with the picture down here, but in order to get the picture big enough to be to read that text and take up the whole thing, so and our they're so great. I know the fish monsters are fantastic. Mm, I love okay, them. Okay, whatever you say. So our full art is uh, the mysteries of Millist, and Millist is the fire sage. Uh, so Mujart was the water sage. Millist was the fire sage. Um, and so this is his card. It deals 500 damage to target resonator. He needs to watch out. He's about to be on fire. He is on fire. He's also dead. So oh, well, <laughs> doesn't really need to watch out then, I guess. He sacrificed himself to save, uh, to seal away all of the demons that they're fighting. No, no, I hate it. I hate it. No, thank you. What's your problem with the fishies? So they're so scary. cute. No, they're not. Okay, we got Manifestation of the Sacred Seal. Look, I got a Magic Stone of Tides. If anybody needs a Magic Stone of Tides, this is my fifth one now, I think. <laughs> so, same thing with Permafrost and Sparklefish. I get them, like, all three of them, like, together in a pack. Yeah, you definitely have a play set of Sparklefish now. <laughs> the Magic Stone of Knowledge. Another Residents of the Demonic World. I'm okay having a play set of some of these one-drop resonators. Like, those are really yeah. good, you know, to have play sets of. Got your Wind Magic Stone. I got a Charlotte Life Point counter this time. Oh, for when you build your Charlotte deck. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out, because these are sideways. You put, yeah, you put it above. This. Oh. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you. It's kind of hard sometimes to, like, lay stuff out on the playmat and try to keep in mind, like, this thing right here. Yeah. It's not that's here in not, real life. That's not there. Or, like, you guys in chat over <laughs> here. 
So our rare is Charlotte's Light Transformation Magic. It's a one drop white quick cast and remnant, which means you can play it from the graveyard. Target J Resonator loses all ability and becomes a 600-600 until the end of turn. Basically, it's like Polymorph, um, but it does it. It's like a 600-600 instead of like a 1-1 one, one Rabbit or something. Like a Polymorph, but good. Yeah, well, it's depending. Well, I guess so. You know, you could make your 1-1 your one, one into a 6-6 six, six, or their 12-12 mm -hmm. into a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of, you know... And then our full art is the Scorching Mountain Trail. Ooh, I so like that So you can art. really see that fire coming through there. Um, that card is really good. My So my very first Force of Will deck was a just a straight mono green elf deck. Yeah. And my second one was a black, red, dark Alice deck that played, it was like pure destruction and it worked on moving, removing things from the game. Um, and it was super fun. So every time I see black red, I get like a little excited again. I'm like, I miss my Dark Alice deck. I get uh, that. So, all right, uh, we have the first layer of this Monarch world. More additions, another hero of compassion, another manifestation of sacred spirit. Hey, look, it's our favorite card. It's the <laughs> it's water stone. stone. Hero of Courage, Firestorm, Water Magic Stone. We've got uh, Arc Scalibur, Lice Point, counter this time. We've got uh, our rare is Absorbing Knowledge. This is a rare that we've seen. Um, I've got a full art of it. it. Basically, you destroy your J, your J Ruler to draw two cards. I don't oh, know yeah. why you would ever do that. I guess like... Maybe there's just a J-Ruler that, like, specifically deals with that. Maybe. I will say the next card that we pulled is really, really awesome. And it's a super rare uh, full art of Excalibur Revolution. Uh, and this is this is basically where you can con you destroy you can destroy X number of creatures that your opponent controls. Or you can uh, put guidance counters art. on. Yeah, it's the art. That's the I keep doing. Like the, the packs keep doing that me to me. Too. <laughs> Just going to line them up. Hey, there you go. She's pretty awesome, though. Yeah, that is cool, and it's like that's the foil one. You see some of the foiling a little bit better on the sword. She's the J ruler. I need to pull. Maybe, maybe you'll ha get lucky and pull on this one. That would be awesome. Eh. Urban, urban pack, urban. Ermagerd. Ermagerd. Sometimes urban they're pack. like difficult to get together. Like sometimes they, you know, stick. Yeah. All right, we've got Atomic Fusion. Fusion. <laughs> Number seven, anti magic. Radius. Still only seven and four. I know. The Paradise of Fallen Angels. Another Schrodinger's Call. Atomic Reactor. Another light magic stone. We've got uh, the witch. Oh yeah. As a life point counter. We've got another uh, Charlotte's light transformation magic as our rare. Oh yeah, this is good to sell how that pulled that from the other rare. And we, were... we also pulled yeah. another full art atomic turbulence. Wow. So now I have three of those. <laughs> it looks like that atomic deck is uh, going to be well on its way soon. So this is pretty cool. I've, I've got a lot of great. You've gotten like a three different types because you got like the regular, you got the full art, and you've got the alternate art. It is. It is interesting. I can. I, I love it though. It's so cool. It's very cool. <laughs> We've got Wind of the Demonic World. Giant of the Sacred Spirit. Map maker of the demonic world. We got another one of those uh, lightning rod mermaids. I got a play set of those, and they're still not any better out of an idea. <laughs> the mysteries of Almeris. No, uh, I didn't read this one. I just put it down. Oh, surging lightning. More lightning. Lots of mermaids and lightning. Uh, which Such is a bad combo. Not a great idea for that. Just asking for a fish fry. <laughs> Darkness magic stone. Oh, this one's worse. Here's like the one thousand one thousand fish. Oh, I love it. Uh, Making a fish deck. Mm -mm. Does it have a name? Like it's just 
fish? Just fish? Like, it doesn't have a title up here. How much is it? It's a resonator token. Oh, it's a token? Yeah, it's a token. Oh, I thought it was, like, an actual... No, one of the... one of the... another card creates this. Okay. You can... you can summon this. I was like, how much does it cost to cast this fish? I must have it! <laughs> Uh, it depends on which card you use to cast it. That's fair. Is the, is the answer. So, but yeah. Our rare is the Witch of Melting Ice. She is a one water. She costs one water. Will. For 400, 400. She's a quick cast. Entities you control cannot be rested by water chance or abilities your opponent controls. Oh, so, that seems handy. There she is. She is the Witch of Melting Ice. I know we got the, uh... The Witch of Doused Fire or something? A fish fry deck? Oh, is that the next is one? That the, yeah, the Witch of Quenched Fire. Yeah. Yeah, did we get one of those? <laughs> we did. I got a full art of it in this pack. So there you go. Uh, they pretty much do the same thing. Um, one's red and one's blue, basically. That's cool, though. Yeah, absolutely. I just, you know, again, Force of Will doing its thing, where I get one of one and one of, like, the next card is, like... See the foiling on her broom some? That's yeah. funny. I am the Witch of Quenched Flames. This one is all, like, realistic and spooky-looking spooky. witch. And this one is, like... I'm a cute anime girl! Yeah. <laughs> anime girl with feathers everywhere? Okay. Good job, for, uh, Force of Will. We've got White Garden, Temple of the Dead, Fish of the Demonic World. Yay, more demon Yay, fish! Yay, demon fish! Magic Sword of Guidance. If it's Quenched Flame, does that mean Ash? I mean, probably. Just, <laughs> the Witch of Damp Ashes did not sound as good <laughs> as the Witch the, of Quenched Flames. The Witch of Damp Ashes! <laughs> I'm a hero of courage. Schrodinger's Call. A darkness Stone. We've got that Witch uh, Life Counter again. I got another uh, Witch of Melting Ice as my rare, and our full art is uh, the Mysteries of Almerius. So, again, all cards we've seen. So we're just kind of going through them. Oh, yeah, what I wouldn't pay for a Magic Stone of Guidance. I know, right? That would be great. Or just this card is just Guidance, which is just put a Guidance counter on an entity you control, draw a card. It's also a spell in Elder Scrolls. Is it? Yeah, it uh, show, it's, a it's a clairvoyant spell in Skyrim that shows you the path to your objective. That's cool. I just like quest markers. I mean, those two. <laughs> got a Swamp of Sorrows. We've got the oh, Heart of the swamp. Avenger. We have a new uh, one drop. Um, water guy. He's in, called the Improved Healing Robot. Oh, as opposed to the Improved Burning Robot. Yeah. Now, was the Improved Burning Robot, like, on fire, or did it burn things? I think it burns things. That, okay, I that makes more sense now. Then I think of this one, like, it was, it's not healing itself. Yeah. This takes cards from your remove from play area and puts them into your graveyard. Oh. And then, uh, you lose 400 life. Or, you know, you gain 400 life for each card put into your graveyard this way. Okay, so you can sacrifice creatures to regain life. Yeah. Well, you have to remove them from the game. Well, you know, this is a new set, so <laughs> like, they've, they've got the improved ones by now. We're on, to, we're on to Gen 2 robots. That's right. Another cat. Eternal Winds. Another Water Stone. We've got our lady and her dolphin. Dolphin counter. Oh, okay, okay. We got a mega rare. Like this Whoa. is one of the rare, one of the really rare. I'm super excited about this card, you guys. Oh my god. Okay, we got Schrodinger. So like, let me just start by saying we got Schrodinger. So Schrodinger, um, he's a one drop. He's a 300, 400. Got quick cast. Enter, choose one. Put a guidance counter on a ruler you control, or you can put a guidance counter on a target entity you control. Whenever one or more guidance counters are put on a ruler or entity you control, you can rest another resonator so he doesn't do a whole lot um when he comes in he just gives you one knowledge counter the, or one guidance counter but whenever 
another guidance counter is entered like on something, um, it you can rest another creature, which is really powerful. Um, it keeps them from blocking. Again, this is just a good defense. Uh, so, so not just his cat. <laughs> no, it's the whole dude. Uh, he turned into the cat. Actually, so Schrodinger's cat has been a uh, paradigm in in this game for a while. Schrodinger's cat actually started as Dark Alice's cat uh, from the fairy tale worlds, from the Mirror Realm, from that story, which is really cool. Uh, the lore for this game is like insane. <laughs> if you ever like want to hear about it, um, but I am super excited about Schrodinger. Um, I had Schrodinger in the Dark Alice set. He was the black card, um, and he removed creatures from the game. Like, that's just what he did. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, and that's always powerful. Now he arrests uh, things, and he's adorable! <laughs> Arresting it. things, like, is un it untaps them and lets you use them again? Is that correct? Uh, no, so resting is, is like, you rest it, you tap it down. Oh, okay, resting is tapping, got yeah. it. So you can tap down your opponent's stuff. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. But including, but it also includes their J-Ruler. Oh. But their J-Ruler has to be in the field as, a, like, a creature. You can't gotcha. touch somebody else's J-Ruler. Not when it's, like, in, not on the, not yeah. in the combat area. Right, yeah. When it's in combat, you can talk about it. And our full art is Bogus Meditation. <laughs> I love the name of that card. Bogus. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I'm totally meditating. Absolutely. What do you think I'm doing over here? Taking a nap. That's what meditation always turns into for me. <laughs> so we've got the... Uh, that's pretty much what it is for me, too. We got the one drop uh, wind witch. The witch of unblowing winds. So this is the, the green one. We've had the blue one and the red one, so now we've got the green one. Um, we've got Hero of Darkness. We're getting some new cards in this one. What new hero? Um, yeah, a new hero, which if I build a hero deck, he's going in. So here he is. He's a one drop black hero. And we got another hero, Hero of the Sacred Spirit. And we got another Oil Demon. Residents of the demonic world. We got a non full art bogus meditation. Another windstone. We got the uh, blue will coin. That's cool. Oh no! Now. Okay, well, yeah. first off, this is my full art. It's Jesse's favorite card. It's Lightning Mermaid. <laughs> uh, that Lightning Mermaid. <laughs> Our super rare is Terra Thunderfish. Yeah! It is a three blue will. It's a 1,000-1,000. This card cannot be cancelled. Uh, this card cannot be cancelled. Um, fish J Resonators you control gain swiftness. Whenever this card attacks, you choose one at random, rest all magic stones and J Resonators your opponent controls. Wow. Or destroy all rested J Resonators your opponent controls. Or fish J Resonators you control gain plus 600, plus 600, and flying until the end of the turn. You can give your fishes flying. So all of those evil fish tokens, you can give them flying. <laughs> it's the kingfish. This is the kingfish. And I hate it. And I hate it. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's what deck I'm going to make you. I'm going to make you a blue deck, and I'm going to give you all the fish and all the mermaids. I want the fish. I don't want the lightning mermaids. Well, too bad. Because it's just gonna they're they're just gonna like fry all my people. What? I don't wanna call <laughs> lightning bolts. I don't need lightning rods in the middle of my fish swarm. <laughs> I actually I think you do. I think you do. I mean, I guess maybe if I have the thunder fish. I was gonna say you got a thunder fish. Like you absolutely want that. Alright. We've got number four, Anti-Magic, Atomic Fairy, Mysteries of Moojdart, Call from the Depths, Fallen Angel of Paradise, Hero of Water, 
Windstone. That last deck pack was exciting. We got a bunch of new cards in it. I was like, oh, these are new ones. Uh, we've got a new life counter. A life point counter. This, this, this dude. Is that, is that what, Brad? Uh, Brad and Grizz Ballesta look so much alike. So Grizz Ballesta was the Sage of Darkness. Uh, and he did, he was a, did magic stone resource. Darkness does not necessarily mean evil in this game. But he just it's looked like, a lot like a Brad. <laughs> he looks like a lot like a Brad. Our, we have a mega rare and our full art. So I'm going to show you our full art first. Our full art is just a uh, permafrost, which we've had like so many of. Our mega rare is Atomic Bahamut. Oh. It's a dragon resonator. It's got a bazil- uh, so much text. It's a 4,000, 4,000. For six. Um, as you play this card, you may remove any number of atoms in your graveyard from the game. You may pay one less to play this card for each card removed this way. This card gains swiftness, flying, pierce, first strike, precision, and enter. J resonators your opponent control lose all abilities until the end of the turn. Then this card deals 4,000 damage to each J Resonator your opponent controls. Players cannot chase this ability, as long as there are five or more atoms with different names in your removed area. This is a ridiculous card. This is a this is a game ending card. Like you play this card and that's it, the game is over. We refer to those as bombs in Magic the Gathering. <laughs> that's it, like this is it. You play this and that's it, the game's over. Like your opponent's just like, well, Good game. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. That's a great card. Um, you guys mind if we go on a little bit longer? We don't have too much more. World fire. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> That's pretty much what that card is. I'll leave them up there. And what I can do is I can go through these a little quicker. And if I see anything new, I can put that down. That might be a little, would that be a little faster? Would that be better? Oh yeah, we could do it without, uh, we're, we're hitting a lot of repeats at this point. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, oh. a lot of the commons and stuff. Yeah, so these are all the commons, they're not, they're ones you've seen. I'm just gonna put them over here so I can sort them. Uh, our rare, uh, is the Shining Heart Scorching Hero. We've already seen him. Um, he's the fire hero. And our super rare and our full art is, um... Necronomicon Barrier. Oh. And it's got our favorite little imp friends. It's one black. Quick cast. Choose one. Resonators entering the field under your opponent's control don't cause their own abilities to trigger until the end of turn. Or you may search your deck for a demonic world edition, reveal it, put it into your hand. That seems pretty good. It's really good. The Force of Will has a lot of enter abilities cards stack in this game it's about playing cards together it's very much like combo focus com yes very very much so having a card like this that prevents enter abilities and combos like that for a turn can be really really powerful um especially something like if you play something like that atomic bahamut and he has that massive enter ability. You can be yeah. like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> like, <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk about this for a hot second. Unfortunately, you can't use um, this on on the Atomic Bahamut's ability because that cannot be chased. Uh, so I thought about that uh, specifically to sp say that specifically, like on the card, this card cannot be chased. So, uh, which makes those cards very powerful and very like expensive not just will wise but like actual money wise like they tend to be a little bit more expensive um so yeah i guess i should leave my rare my rares out here until i get the next set pulled out for you guys all right so our next rare is it uh you guys are gonna like the name of this one which with a pointy hat oh nice uh, quick cast enter, prevent all damage that would be dealt to tar by target entity until the end of the turn. It's got seal four, which is uh, what enter ability cancels uh, an activate ability. So, okay. Which with the pointy hat. And our full art is. As a witch should. Which is all, absolutely. Uh, a hero of the sacred spirit. Um, that looks like a different art. 
I feel like from the one we saw before. Yeah, this is, is a, is it, this is a different hero. He's a dual color hero. Oh, okay. Um, he gets to put two guidance counters on a target entity you control. Ah. So like you could put two guide if you played him, you could put two guidance counters counters on Charlotte. Here's the common. <laughs> it's the same. Oh, the, the regular. Yeah, it's the same. But so. well, in this one, you can see his pants better. You can. That's true. That is very true. Hey, we got a first day ruler. Nice. It's gonna be your favorite one. Ready? Oh, see? Yeah. You ready? You ready? You ready? It's Brad. Yay! Yay! It's Brad. <laughs> his abs look like a corn cob. <laughs> Not Brad, but oh, that guy. This yeah, guy. I, I don't know how like. Dude is jacked. I don't, I don't, I mean, yeah. Anyway, so this is our first J Roller. J Rollers are double sided. Um, you need them to play the game. Brad's ability, his judgment is only one wind. Uh, you may do judgment of this card while it's rested, so that's nice. What's Brad's? Immortal Sage. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You may do judgment of this card more than once per turn. So this is Brad is gonna be crazy to use. Uh, his desk, his deck is gonna be a challenge. Uh, you may treat knowledge counters on this card as magic stones for seal abilities you control, which is also really cool. Um, and when you flip him over, so if you J activate him, he has imperishable and barrier. So imperishable means he cannot die. It does not matter what you do to him. You can like drop his life points to zero. He will flip over. And then you can just reactivate him. That's handy. Um, he, th this is the only J ruler I know of that has this ability. Um, because that is stupid powerful. <laughs> um, anyway, he's got Imperishable and Barrier. Enter, put a Knowledge Counter on this card. You may treat Knowledge Counters on this card as Magic Stones for Seal abilities you control. So he's a 7-7. Seven, seven. He doesn't really do a whole lot by, him, by himself. But now all of those cards that say Sacrifice your J ruler to do yeah. things make more sense because you can sacrifice him and he just turns back over and then you can J activate him again and you can do that as many times a turn as you need to. <laughs> yeah. So. Free sacrifice. That's kind of crazy powerful. So that's awesome. I'm super excited. We got a. Uh, There's Brad. Our J ruler. A J ruler. I don't know. I'm excited we got Brad, but I'm, I, I still would kind of like a, a white one since we have so many heroes. Yeah. All right, let's see what we get. One from Charlotte. Yeah. We did get a new common. The ultimate Brad. The ultimate Brad. A new common? Yeah, it's called the Forest of Darkness. Um, basically, uh, it gives your, your opponents minus X, hun X hundred minus X hundred, depending on how many uh, lands these additions you control. Okay. So, Hero of the Winds, another crazy fish thingy. Yay, crazy fish. And our um, two rares for this pack are our blood, our blood vampire guy, our blood, blood lord. lord. And then we got a full art of the uh, that shiny fire hero guy. So we got the edgiest and the least edgy. <laughs> in Together. the same pack, right yeah, next to each other. Right yeah, right next to each other. Brad, the ultimate. Marvelous Michelle, maybe I'll make you a Brad deck. How does that sound? I'm gonna make I'm gonna make Bandit the Lightning Mermaid deck. <laughs> Brad, the unkillable. And I'm gonna make make you a Brad deck. Um, we have a new Adam spell that we haven't gotten yet. This is called Magical Loveliness. Oh my! So that's the blue red, uh, spell. Um, for that and our rare, our super rare is another one of those atomic. Turbulence and our full art is that adorable little uh, oh, the healing, healing robot. robot, isn't he super cute? We have a playset of these now. Of the atomic turbulence, that's yeah. actually really good to know, because those are, I think those might fetch a pretty penny. What a great job with the naming! Oh yeah, oh uh, hell yeah! I don't know. Uh, so force of will was oh wow, Brad's Brad's actually thirteen Brad, bucks. Brad's thirteen bucks, so that's that's pretty good. So. Yeah, I don't know how much of it just didn't, like, translate well, you know? Or... 
Yeah. Ooh, okay, we got some nice cards in this pack. Um, uh, do you guys care about the will coins? Like the art for the will coins? I like them. So the art for the fire will coin is, uh, is the Adam lady. Okay. I can't remember her name right now, but this chick. Yeah, what's her face? Yeah, what's her face? I'm gonna put her up here. There and you go. Just kind of in the corner. Cute anime chick, right? All right, so our rare is Glowing Tree of Valhalla. Oh. It's a one white edition. This card gains heroes you control gain plus 1,000, plus 1,000, as long as there are three or more guidance counters on it. So, da, 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 da. That seems pretty powerful. It is a great card, and it is beautiful. I love me some trees, man. It'd be really good for that Charlotte hero deck, right? With the guidance yes. counters. Speaking of that, our full art is Leneth, Heroic Goddess of Guidance. Um... Entities you control with guidance on them, guidance counters on them gain eternal. If they are eternal, it means that they cannot be destroyed. Ooh. Um, enter, search your deck for a hero with a total cost two or less and put it into the field. Put a guidance on counter on it and then shuffle your deck. So this is Leneth. Um, she is a great, these are both really, really great cards for a hero like a light hero deck. So I've got a full play set of Charlotte. Like I would, that would be really cool. Brad, magical loveliness. I know various improved robots. They don't beat around the bush, you know? Like they're like, we know it's just obvious. We're just gonna make, we're gonna make it obvious what these things are and what they do. do, 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 do. Yeah, no, no guesswork. Hey, we got our second J ruler. Oh, nice. All right, so not, not a bad J ruler. Not the one I wanted, but not a bad J ruler. Uh, actually, we got fire J ruler. Oh, cool. We got Violet. Oh, hey. That's her name. Atomic um, Auto Automaton. I think is what it says. Automaton. Automaton. Uh, judgment two fire uh, to turn her over. Uh, sh she's one draw a card, then discard a card. Play this ability only once per turn. <clears throat> so you can pay a will to draw a card and discard a card. So if you need to go through especially since she does a lot of the atoms it makes sense that you're going to be shuffling through your deck um and then her judgment her side after you judge j activate her she's an 800 800 discard a card this card gains plus 200 plus 200 swiftness flying first strike precision drain or barrier until the end of turn so you can discard a card and give her any one of these effects but you only get to pick one so apparently she is more expensive than brad <laughs> <laughs> which is cool so it's interesting that we got the fire one and the uh wind one we're gonna have to pick up i'm gonna have to pick up the uh light one i think do you like the uh draw a card then discard a card mechanics do i like that i think it depends on the deck that i'm playing in i think um they can be super useful um especially in a card in a deck where you're looking for different things, like different, and you're the more atoms you play, like this. That's what this deck is based on. Yeah. So you want to kind of shuffle through that. Um, I will say it's not my favorite mechanic. Normally, I base my decks around cheekier mechanics. <laughs> I could see that working well with some graveyard interaction, though. If you have anything that lets you pull things out of the graveyard. Yeah. And, I feel like a. And discarding is not a. Big issue. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's very true. Um, looking for more. I think I, I also have a play set now of uh, these black ones. I think you're right. I've gotten so many of these. Oh, our full art was Brave Force. I'll switch these. And our rare was another one of these. Uh, <laughs> guys, I think I have a play set of him too. Yeah, if not, if not, then you're close. <laughs> so. Oops, sorry. You're good. We are almost good. at the end of the box. Almost done. <laughs> I know. It's a lot of Force of Will cards. Her name is a tongue twister? Yeah, oh, the, yeah, the it really uh, is. The Atomic the Automaton. Atomic Automaton. It's so hard to say. All right, and our ones for this are we got a Guardian. We got the Dragon. And we got a full 
Lord of Schrodinger! Ah! Oh, wow. Ah, I'm so excited. Look how cute it is. That's awesome. I'm so excited. That's so adorable. Foil full art Schrodinger Also, there. I think that might be a mini Dark Alice doll. Oh, a bit. Yeah, I think you're right. And it's just like the cutest it's thing in, the in like the absolute, it's like cutest thing in the universe. Uh, super excited about that poll. I love me a Schrodinger. I would make a, I would make a deck just of Schrodinger cats. <laughs> it would not play well. There's absolutely no way it would play like at all in any kind of feasible way. But maybe I'll do it. If you guys want to see me make a really bad deck with just Schrodingers, let me know. Because I might. I might do it. I'm crazy enough. <laughs> All right. So our um, full art. Sometimes I do the full arts first because some of the full arts are common. Um, our full art is that stone. Oh, cool. <laughs> so our full art. Um, but our rare for this is... Tiny Violet! No. It's the doll! Chibi Violet. It's a Chibi Violet, so it's flying. This card gains Violet, Atomic, Automaton, in addition to its other names. Enter, put up to two target atom chants from your graveyard into your hand, and then it has tap, draw a card, and discard a card. So she's going to pair super well with my uh, J Ruler that oh, yeah. I have. So that's super cool. Um, I think we can build a pretty decent red deck with the things that we've got. I will have to get some fire stones because we've pulled two fire stones and they're both oh. common. So we may need to go, I may need to do some trading and finding of things to make a deck here. Well, that happens a lot of times. Yeah. This is the will coin for the white. I think you have, is that every color now? It might be. Or no, I don't think we have a black will coin. Our rare is that lightning passion. Oh, okay. And our super rare is Amadeus Fallen Kingdom. Ooh. So this is a super crazy, cool, demonic world card. Um, this is when it enters, you choose number equal to or less than the number of demon worlds with different names you control. Remove all non-magic stone, non-J rule entities with total cost equal to that number your opponent controls from the game. So it is just a flat out board wipe. Um, I can't read the Can question, you counter sorry. spells or anything similar in Force of Will? Yes, you can, like in... Yeah, like in, in, like magic, in, magic. in magic Gathering, there's a ability to say counter a spell. Mm -hmm. So like, if you were to try to play a creature, mm -hmm. you could say, you know, just counter and... Unless you can counter the counter somehow, yeah. you, your spell wouldn't resolve. So in this case, it, it, yes, you can do that in Force of Will. They call it cancel. Um, okay. Instead of counter, it's a it's a cancel. It's like, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. We're not, I'm not so sure about that spell. That sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> like, <laughs> let's not do that. So yes, there are counters. The heaviest counter spell deck um, in Force of Will is going to be your green and your blue. Um, they tend to be heavier on spells and heavier on just like straight up cancel abilities. Um, your other decks run more on on different strategies. But yeah, if you want to do a lot of countering, pick up some wind resonators. Yeah, so a lot of um, a lot of green. It'll, it'll say like can cancel target spell unless you're con unless the controller pays two more or whatever or like they have those in uh, yeah in force of will yes. they are a pain I ran uh, a Christie deck had a my couple of counter spells in it but once I got enough elves on the field it didn't matter some people some people really like playing counter decks I don't understand it. I like things that play from the graveyard. I'm a cheekier spell person. I like, uh, what's it called in magic? Where if you like, is it death touch? Where you like poke them and they die and it doesn't matter. Yeah, death touch. Any damage that a creature does to another creature is enough to kill it. Yeah, I like stuff like that. Drain and bane and barrier and that, that's my kind of stuff. Yeah. I'm, I'm mean. Anyway, our, our rares in this is this dark... We got the, uh, another Dark Lord. 
Oh, no. Another dark Another lord. dark lord. And we got a full art of uh, the Witch of Unblowing Winds. So. See, uh, this one is quick cast entities your opponent controls cannot be recovered by spells or abilities. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, so it kind of just like... Make sure they don't not do any sort of weird untap mechanics. Yeah, like in blue. Blue likes to do a lot of that. <laughs> Stay tapped. Yeah. Um... Yeah, because sometimes you can you can do that. You can like untap and tap and tap and untap and all that crazy stuff. Hey, I, you. oh sorry. I was supposed to say I like a good death touch mechanic too. It seems like that's a pretty common. Everybody in chat likes a good death, I love touch. death touch. We got a full art of the um, residents of the demonic world. That's just the one drop black. Um, Always need a solid one drop though. Yeah, it's really good. Whenever a demonic world edition is put into the field under your control. You can put this card from the graveyard into your field. So really, if you're playing a black deck, there's no reason not to play this because it should just cycle back into your, like, you just cycles. Yeah. Like, it's, a, uh, it's, like, I love, I love stuff like that. And we got a super rare. It's hey. number 13. Ooh. <laughs> Anti-magic. So here you go. Uh, got good finally. Quick cast. Cancel target spell. And there it is. <laughs> Cancel target spell. Um, it also has seal four, which is you may pay one white less to play this card. And if you have seal seven, you may pay one wind less to play this. So essentially, if you have seven stones out on the field, you can play this for free whenever you want. That seems pretty OP. Yep. Right? That's why it's a super rare. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> uh so it's just a straight out, nip, not doing it. I don't want- Shut it down. I don't want it. Don't want to see it. <laughs> not, not a cool, not cool, bro. Uh, yes, yeah, so we got, we got two packs left. Ooh, we are getting to the bottom. This has been really exciting. We got a really good pulls in this. I'm excited to make no. a violet deck. I'm, I'm looking forward to see what you build out of it. All right, and we got some more. I was hoping we would get all of Amadeus's pieces. I thought that would be. Hey! Speaking of. Oh, what do we get? Here he is! Avenger of Amadeus! Uh, he is like a thousand. He costs so much. He's got Pierce and Eternal. When this card is put into the graveyard from anywhere, put it on the bottom of its owner's deck. You guys, this has the most attack power of any Force of card that I have ever seen Holy in my crap. entire life. I have never seen a card have this much attack power. 10,000, 10,000. It does cost 10 stones, but like, again, this is the green. Remember how we had that that uh, Bahamut was like the red yeah. world ender? This feels very much like the the wind ender. How much health do you start out with in uh, 4,000. Gotcha. So like for comparison... In Magic the Gathering, this would be like a 50-50 yeah. creature. And he's got... Uh, sorry about that. Uh, this card has Pierce, which is similar to what Trample is in Magic the Gathering, I believe. Um, where it, it just, whatever it does, it just goes through, so... And we got a full art of uh, Guidance, which I like the full art of this. I think it's just... Um, I know she's just really pretty. Like, I think they did a. I keep trying to like make it to the camera better, but like I just I can't get that to work. But anyway, there we go. Our full art is a full art guidance. Again, that's a really cool. That's a really pretty card. Um, and this is our last pack, you guys. This is it. Last pack. Last pack. That's an Eldrazi. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. It pretty much is. Like. I mean. Pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. Or full art, I didn't see. Ooh. Oh, guidance. Nice. Yeah, it's really nice. I, I like, like the it. foiling. And then our last two, we got another Lenneth. Oh, hey. Um, Even and, better for that Charlotte thing. I know, right? And uh, full art Firestorm. Oh, I think it's a play. So, I think it's a play set of the Firestorms. It is a play set of the Firestorms, which is going to be really good for that Adam deck. So. 
You got, yeah. you got the, the start of a couple good decks here. Yeah, I do. I'm really excited about a lot of these. So now I gotta get some decks building. So. Zoom out here. See our uh, aftermath of our... The aftermath of our cards. Sorry, the, the, the dog is, is a little like a uh, little loud. Sorry about that. Yeah, there we go. That's all of our... Uh... And that's it. Those, so these are... This is Force of Will cards. It plays very similarly to Magic the Gathering. Maybe I will rope Erratic Bandit into um, playing a game, a tutorial game, something kind of low-key we could uh, we could do on stream or we could do as a video if you guys want to see. Let us know if that's something you're interested in. Um, I've I've played around with a little bit with uh, Force of Will. I think if you if you like Magic the Gathering, um, and those sorts of card games, uh, it's it's definitely something you might enjoy. Um, has that more anime art style, which is I, I think it's cool. Um, it's I I generally prefer Western art styles, um, but I don't know. There's room for both. They're both really cool. There's Brad. Brad. I can't believe his name is Brad. And it's harder to get mana screwed in Force of Will. It's like, Force of Will is Magic the Gathering, but less mana screw. Yes, because you have your a uh, separate deck for Will, um, which is nice. I do yeah. like that. So this, it, we may uh, may do some more of this on the stream. You guys, like, like she said, let us know uh, if you enjoy this. Um, make sure you see more of it. Yeah. And I think that's, uh, that's about it. Uh, join us next week. Friday the 18th for community has low cost counters. <laughs> this game has low cost counters. Um, it just depends on a lot of it. The, the crazy and cool thing about Force of Will is it's all about combos. It's all about how your cards play off of each other and like how they build and um, I, More I think tribal. If that makes sense. Yeah, I think so. It's described in a lot of ways as like you are commanding your J ruler who is commanding your army, which who is commanding an army. And that army is like your J rulers. So like it makes sense that they would combo well, if that yeah. makes sense. Um, you're just kind of like, Violet, take your army and go do this. Like that's the kind of the... Yeah, it's sort of like a commander in Magic. If anybody is familiar with the with the commander format of Magic: The Gathering, um, it's sort of it's sort of like that, where it's built around your one uh, commander, or in this case, J ruler, um, who com who you want to what want to work well with all of your different uh, stuff because it is a, an ever present card throughout the game. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's, that's that's about it. Next uh, Friday, we've got a uh, yep community game night community on the eighteenth. No stream this Friday, um, but yeah, let us know what you guys want to play on the eighteenth. Uh, you can let us know anywhere on social media, in chat here, or on our website, stayingin.com. Uh, make sure you're following on Instagram and all our social medias to see all of our updates and what's going on. Um, <laughs> yeah, so. We got new stuff in the works all the time, so uh, do keep an eye out. Thank you all so much for being here tonight. We had a great time doing the unboxing, and uh, hoping to do some more stuff like this in the future. Yeah. And uh, y'all have a great evening. Yeah, have a great evening, guys. Thank you again so much. We will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.